All seven of Reacher's rules in the Amazon TV show explained. Fans of Reacher both the long-running book series and the Amazon Prime Video TV show know that Jack Reacher, Alan Rich's son, has some hard and fast rules. Molded by his fractured upbringing and military backstory, Jack Reacher is unique, even by action hero standards. While the expert marksman, brilliant tactician, and hand-to-hand -hand combat pro has a lot of the genre's stereotypical qualities, Reacher's strong moral code sets him apart. At first glance, the no-nonsense ex-military police officer may seem like another Jack Ryan, but Reacher is different. For starters, he works outside the system very far outside. A self-proclaimed hobo, no, not a vagrant, Jack Reacher has struggled to adapt to his post-army life. The drifter has the shirt on his back, a toothbrush, and an ATM card, but not much else. He refuses to settle down or stay in any one place for too long. The seemingly untraceable Reacher hops buses and walks for miles, looking for his next adventure. For someone who lives a pretty disconnected life, Jack Reacher is pulled into quite a few life-threatening conspiracies, including that of Reacher Season 2. In the show's sophomore outing, Reacher and his friends are the targets and that means new rules. In Reacher Season 2, Episode 2, What Happens in Atlantic City, Jack Reacher is quick to assume that Gaetano Guy Russo, Dominic Lombardazzi, an NYPD officer he sucker punches, is involved in Calvin Franz's, Luke Billick, murder. In reality, Russo is investigating the case, which saw Franz dropped out of a helicopter over the cat's kills. While Russo's spying on the former members of Jack Reacher's 110th Special Investigations Unit was suspicious, Francis Neagley, Maria Sten, reminds Reacher that, assumptions kill. In their life-threatening line of work, the difference between knowing and guessing could be life or death. In a Reacher Season 2 flashback to the 110th's founding, Carla Dixon, Saranda Swan, approaches Reacher with some interesting information. After reviewing some numbers namely the amount spent on fuel the accountant turned MP officer determines that a few army members are secretly transporting contraband. When Dixon says, in an investigation, details matter, Reacher smiles and tells Dixon that he's going to use that line himself. In the present timeline, the quote certainly resonates with the group's investigation into Franz's mysterious murder, which has been very meticulously orchestrated.